We are voting on the land transfer tax and the vehicle registry today. What we are really voting on is the kind of city we want. And we know what Torontonians have said over the past couple of months. They want a city that has public services in their neighborhoods to meet their needs and the needs of their families. They want new public transit. They want a city that they're not only proud to live in, that works for them, that works for their families, and they want to see that in every neighborhood of this city, not just some neighborhood. And we would all like to see, we would all like to see a city where you can do all of that, but you don't have to pay for it. But that's not the reality we face. The truth is that if you're going to have the kind of Toronto that people want, we have to find a way to get the resources. And before us today uh, is a method that this council can use to do its part. Yes, it's hard. But I know when you look Torontonians in the eye, and when you listen to them, they're very clear. They say, we want our services, we want investments, we want a great city to live in. We want to know that you are running your government well. Well, we have all of the indices, all of the benchmarks that know that, but in addition, I've appointed a panel of prominent Torontonians to give us advice. But most Torontonians, when you tell them, we are going to fight to preserve your services, we're going to fight to invest in your city, your neighborhood, and every neighborhood in this city, we're going to show you that this government is run well, in the end they'll say, we're prepared to pay more. That's what I've heard on the streets of Toronto. I know this vote is difficult. I know it's a challenging time, but it also should be a time of optimism because it's time for this city to move forward.